Hi y'all, it's Beth here and today I'm sharing with you my November melting basket. Today is November 2nd and I'm so excited to share with you guys what things I plan on melting this month. Of course, I know that I will not get to all of this, but I'm just excited to have it to choose from and I've honestly been doing pretty bad on melting wax lately, so I need to get um, back into it because... I have so much in my stash and fall only lasts a short while and so yeah I need to work on melting it. I'm going to start with the lavender and speckles scents that I have pulled. So this first one this is in the scent banana nut bread and buttercream plus coffee house. This one is sweet banana nut bread, rich buttercream frosting and coffee house. And the verse on it is Deuteronomy 20, verse 4. This one says, For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you the victory. And I have two more scents with that verse, so I'll show you guys those next. This one is in the scent Almost Cherry Pie. This one is Black Cherries, Cherry Frosting, Pie Crust, and a Hint of Strawberry Pound Cake. And then I have the Sweet Shop, and this one is Rich Iced Almond Cookies Blended with Apple Cider Donuts. Another Lavender and Speckles scent I have, this one is Coffee and Pumpkin French Toast. And this one is Fresh Brewed Coffee, Pumpkin, Ginger, Apple, and Buttery French Toast. And the verse is Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And then the other scent I have with that same verse on it, this one is in the scent Cracklin' Pecan Waffles. And the notes are Cracklin' Birch, Pumpkin, Pecans, and Waffles, Sweet and Woodsy. And then the last scent from Lavender and Speckles that I have, this one is in the scent Mountain Espresso. And the notes on this one is a unique blend of citrus, cinnamon, blue sage, amber, tonka, cedarwood, and espresso. And the verse on it is Psalm 28, 7. It says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart never in him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart exalts, and with my song I give thanks to him. Sorry guys, it is very early here. Not very early, but I slept in, so I'm kind of groggy because I just woke up recently. Next up I have a few scents from Rose Girls. So this first one, this is in the scent, a little bit flaky. And the notes on this one are cinnamon bear claws, frosted cronuts, and toasted marshmallows. Then I have the scent Fluff Puff Peaks. And this one is warm vanilla chai, creamy peanut butter, and monster cookie fluff puffs. I have the scent Cherry Donut Holes. This one is maraschino cherries and freshly baked donut holes. I have the scent Autumn Mountain. This one is Cider Lane, Dunk My Donuts, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. And then the last one that I have from Rose Girls, this was gifted to me from Lexi, and her channel here on YouTube is Two Quick Wicks, and it is called Choco Mountain. And then another scent that I have in this basket that was gifted to me from Lexi, this one is called by the fireplace from salt mountain melts and the notes are chestnut clove smoky wood vanilla and neroli and i think this one will smell so good for the fall i have one scent from goose creek and this is in the scent strawberry sponge cake and i just pulled it because it is super um oily and you can see also like the oils on the bottom so I wanted to pull this one to use. I actually bought this one at Walmart. So I don't know if they were putting like their older clams there. But um, yeah, it's almost a year old from since I bought it. And then I'm not sure like how old it was when I actually bought it. If you guys can hear that noise in the background, that is my coffee pot. So I'm so sorry. It's kind of being noisy right now. And then from that Smell Good shop, 
I have the scent Smoothie Sailing. And this one is Zucchini, Vanilla, Blackberry, and Raspberry. This is a favorite of mine. It smells so good and I don't know, it's a great scent for really any time of year, but it definitely reminds me of fall. Next up, I have some yummy scents from L3 Waxy Wonders. So I have the two pack of Bunts, and this is in the scent Espresso Sugar Cookie Royale Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I really like both of these scents separated, so I'm pretty sure I'll like them combined as well because they're both bakery. They're going to go so well together. They smell so good on cold. So I am really, really excited to be able to melt this. Then I have a couple of the Bitty Betty Loaves. And this first one is in the scent Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Coffee Bean, Sweet Bakery Dough, and Blueberry Muffin. Oh, it smells good. The coffee is definitely strong in this one. I'm excited to try it. Then I have the scent, The S'more the Merrier. This one has been in so many melting baskets and I never pull it. So I really hope that I pull it this time. If not, I think I'm just going to give it away because... I'm like, it has to mean something that I keep putting in my melting basket and I just never pull it. Um, means probably that I'm just not as excited to warm it as I think I am. The notes on this one are Godiva white chocolate, raspberry truffle, golden grams, toasted mallow, and almond. It sounds good, but something about it just smells like, I don't know, it has a very specific scent that I feel like I would need to be in the mood to melt it. So I think that's why I always don't pull it is because I'm just like, I'm just not in the mood to melt this one right now. So we're going to give it a try this month, see if I pull it or not. And then I have the scent Fresh Pick Strawberry Sweet Cream Zucchini Bread in a puppy pack. Another puppy pack is in the scent Enchanted Pears. This one says, one of my son's favorite smells, uh, no, one of my son's friends smelled this blend and said, wow, these pears smell so good. They must be enchanted. Pears and a creamy, wonderful bakery scent are in this blend. And then I also have a puppy pack in the scent. Here's Jenny, Don't Cross Streams. This one is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Pretzel Bakery Bomb, Adipose Vanilla Cookies, Vanilla Wafer, and Vanilla Ice Cream. And then I have two scoopables that are um, new. They're from 2024, and they are, like, completely full. So this one is Sorting Hat, and I actually bought two of these because I really like the scent. It's so good for fall. It says, smells like breakfast in the Great Hall, sweet apple cinnamon, pecan waffles, and rich vanilla syrup. So good. And then the second scoopable that I got, this one is a new to me scent, and it's in the scent Pumpkin Peanut Brittle Type, which is a um, Bath and Body Works scent, Pumpkin Peanut Brittle. So I'm excited to try this one. It smells really good on cold. Definitely very peanutty, so we'll see how it goes. Then next up, I do have two scents from Second and Spruce. So this first one is in the scent Fried Dough, and this is Fried Dough, Flaky Crust, Cinnamon, and Brown Sugar. Then I have the scent Coffee with Graham, and this one is House Coffee Beans, Bear Claw, Hazelnut Cream, and Pie Crust. And then, oops, there's one L3 scent that I left out. This is a clamshell in the scent Eight Crazy Nights. And I've had it for a while, since 2022. So we'll see how it performs. But I'm excited to melt this one. And then all the rest is from Scentsy. So I have the scent Spiced Apple Chestnut. Clove and Cinnamon, 
Johnny Appleseed. This one's a favorite of mine. Hemingway. This one's another favorite of mine. And Warm Pumpkin Drizzle. This one's another favorite of mine. I have the scent Pumpkin Chai. Breakfast in Bed. Another favorite. Perfect Day. Another favorite. Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin. Rum Raisin Cookie. Homestead Holiday. Another favorite. Cranberry Muffin. This one, guess what, is another favorite. Pumpkin Cashmere. Cider Mill. This one's another favorite. And Ghostly Greetings, just because I have three and I didn't get to melting any of them in October. So I would like to melt this one in November. And then last but not least, I do have three Scentsy Bricks. So I have Caramel and Chestnut. I have Maraschino Sugar Cookie. And I have Baked Apple Pie. And that is everything for my November Melting Basket. Again, I will not get to everything, but I like to have these options to pull from. And then I'm also really excited because I'm going to be setting some of these aside for my um, use it or lose it challenge, which will start for my 2022 wax in January because I still have 2022 wax in my stash. And by the time we get to 2025, it is three years old. So I need to use it or lose it. So I will see y'all next time and just a little tidbit of information about the use it or lose it challenge. I did it a couple years ago and maybe last year. I don't know. I did it. Yeah, I think last year in 2023 um, where I would do like a melting basket every month that was use it or lose it. So um, it was wax that was getting like on the older side. And if I used it by the end of the month, then awesome. But whatever I didn't use or didn't pull by the end of the month, I lost, which means essentially I gave it away in my neighborhood giving group or I sent it to friends here in the wax community um, or things like that. So I'm very, very excited to start that new um, in January. It was very fun when I did it in 2023 a little heartbreaking but also just like heartbreaking in a fun way I got to give to other people and be generous and also I got to like challenge myself it really helped me to narrow down like what I wanted to prioritize melting and what I kind of was like okay I would be okay to let go of this so it was like kind of a fun way to declutter um and it also was very eye-opening in just how much excess wax I bought than what I could melt. And I have definitely gotten better with my wax purchasing um, throughout my wax journey. Because when I started out, I was like wanting to buy every single pre-order, every single ready to ship from my favorite vendors. And some vendors, they do that like once a month or even twice a month. So... <laughs> Um, it was getting really crazy, really out of hand, really fast, and I'm really happy with where I am now and that I'm doing a much better job of purchasing wisely, but also I still definitely purchase more than what I use, which I would really like to work on that and get better still and improve on that. So I think doing the use it or lose it challenge is going to really help me out with that again and um even helped me even more than how it did in 2023 so yeah I will see y'all next time as always make sure you stay positive till then bye